When, when we're able to design a conversation that marries or hybridizes or connects intimacy and scale, that's when, that's when collective intelligence can show up. Because there's no limit to scale um, when, you have, when you have many small groups of people in conversation, whether it's at a world cafe or a different kind of gathering. It has to do with the harvest of the conversation, the ways of harvesting the learning. Um, when we, one thing we missed in our book when we talked about the host at a table, we didn't mention that it's really important not to have the same host after every round of the, of the conversation. If the host remains at the table, he or she becomes a controller runs the conversation. So we start with the assumption that the wisdom is already present in the room. I ask people to believe, what if that's true? I can't prove it to you, but what if all the knowledge we need around your question that matters here, that you've helped design, is already here? I'm, I'm asking you to consider that. And there's usually enough people who are willing to do that. Then you move people two, three or four times. Two is not quite enough. But you can see the, the exponential um, numbers starting to add up. You ask people to move to three other tables, not to the same table, three other tables. And you do that two, three, four times. A lot of people connect with each other. What starts to happen is they start hearing the same story, the same learning, and it starts to spread. And people are start to write on the tablecloth their ideas and their deeper questions, because we ask them to do that. Write your ideas and your deeper questions on the table. And if your table comes up with a better question than we've originally designed, talk about that, because there could be a better question. So we always want to improve the question. Then at the end of three or four rounds, rather than having table reports, which is not a good idea, because particularly if there's been a host, at the, at the same host at the table, recording all the people's ideas, rather than everyone listening to what's in the center of the table. It's always about what we're learning together. So in harvesting, in a plenary session at the end of three or four rounds, and asking people to, to, speak, to stand up with a microphone, the microphone is passed, to, to speak to what they are learning, not as an individual, but what are they hearing being learned across the community, across the meeting, across the conference? What's essential here? Thank you.